Hi, welcome to my 3 minute video series on B2B sales and on digital marketing. In this video, we will discuss sales objections at the top of the funnel. Why do people object at this stage? So let's first talk about why objections will come at the top of the funnel. Your buyer is already solving the problem with some solution. This could be one solution that will meet only the basic needs and your solution could be 10 times better. However, your buyer has searched enough for solutions and has made a decision to go with the solution for some reason. Now when you would go out and you'd be sounding like just another salesperson and the buyer obviously would not want to waste their time with you. So you will have to be very persistent and contextual to the buyers at this stage. The persistence at this stage will help you get past the buyer's resistance to even speak with you. You will now have to work only at making the person talk to you at this stage. So you might be able to convert a significant portion of the prospects into customers once you will have one or two conversations with each one of those. The standard types of objections that will come at this stage will be to resist talking to you or to resist that your solution will not fit them as they have something running at this point in time. So what do we do? We will need to be extremely patient at this stage. You should be laser focused on getting the meetings, talking with the people when they are mentally relaxed and eventually finding out if there are any opportunities for you. We can always figure out uh, the rest in the middle of the funnel stage. The standard objections that would come at this stage would be as below. Uh, we can quickly discuss what these objections mean and how you can handle these. First, I'm busy, talk to me later. This means that they are busy and you have reached out to them when they are not expecting you to show up. You can politely apologize and ask for another time to talk to them. Second, send me some information. I will get back to you. This means that they're telling you to get out in a polite manner. You will have to ask if they would require anything specific and then follow up after sending those. Third, I'm not interested. This means that they are comfortable with the solution they have at this point in time. You will have to politely accept that but still be a little persistent to open up their mind and begin talking to you for 15 minutes or 30 minutes at another date. Fourth, I don't want to work with your company which means that they are again comfortable with the existing company they have at this point in time. Same response, you will have to make them open up with you and talk to you. Fifth, we filled with projects. This means that they believe that the problem for which you're pitching a solution has already been solved or is not in high priority right now. They are coating time as a bottleneck and are pushing you out. You will have to be persistent and convince them that your solution is worth their time. Sixth, we don't have extra money right now. This means that they have exhausted their budgets on solving those specific problems and are not keen in spending any time, money and effort on these. You will have to be persistent and get a meeting with them so that we can convince them that our solution is worth spending that extra money on. Seventh, this is not important to us. As mentioned above, the buyer is comfortable with the solution they have at this point in time. We have to push for a longer meeting. So to conclude, you will have to handle these objections with patience and be very persistent in terms of fixing up subsequent follow-up calls. Attempting to sell at this stage or getting convinced that they don't need your solution will put you into trouble. This mindset will make us negate the prospect list given to us and we will get a feeling that no one wants our solution. So connect with us on Scovillo Consulting either on the blogs or on social media channels to get the latest insights on B2B sales and on digital marketing. Looking forward to connecting with you on the next video or on the next blog. Thank you.